Hi, I'm Dan, coming to you from the front seat of my 61 Fleetwood 60 Special. Um, some folks have been asking uh, or are curious as to what this new setup I'm talking about that's enabling me to play FM radio and uh, MP3 players through the stock sound system, so I figured I'd show you. So here I am. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the components. The first critical component is this, the uh, Jensen JHD 910 radio. I got it from a company here in Canada, and it was actually cheaper than buying it on eBay and through all the typical uh, uh, U.S. sources. It was about $100 cheaper that way, actually. The other component, which I bought on eBay, uh, the prices I was finding were consistent at about $150, uh, no matter where I was buying it from, is the Ready Rad. So how the Ready Rad works is um, if you want to just use AM radio and an MP3 player, you'd plug the stock antenna into the Ready Rad um, and then the Ready Rad into the back of the radio. So when you're just listening to normal AM radio stations, uh, the signal passes through the Ready Rad and um, uh, it will play your stations normally over the radio. Once it detects an external source, it cuts the signal coming in from the antenna and then will convert the signal coming in through the headphones, uh, the headphone jack of an MP3 player, iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, and sends that to the radio. Now in my instance, where I want to have FM radio also through the Jensen radio, um, I have the antenna plugged into the Jensen radio and not into the Ready Rad, and it still works just fine anyway. So, um, what I've done is there's a, a, an MP3 player input, just a, store, a standard headphone jack on the front of the Jensen radio, which also has a headphone output, which I've plugged the, radio, the Ready Rad into. Um, it just makes wiring that much easier. Um, once this is all installed and hidden inside the glove box, to the casual passerby, they wouldn't even know the system is there. So, let's turn on the key. The stock sound system needs some time to uh, warm up. It's just one of those things with whole cars. But the radio, the Jensen radio, is tuned to 102.9 FM. We have guaranteed credit approval no matter what's in your credit pass. And, and there you go. Now, this is pretty much one of the only strong signals I can get inside the garage. But um, I'll change the channel just to, just to prove that this is what's playing. And so, yes, that gives you FM radio through the stock AM radio. Um, now, if you want, I've got a tablet hooked up here um, and uh, ready to play. So uh, cue it up, start playing the song, flip over to auxiliary, and there you have it. Yes, indeed, that is Carrie. I'd use her shit for toothpaste, Underwood, playing through the tablet, through the Jensen radio, and into the stock radio, just nice and loud and clear. Now, what I found I've also had to do um, it's just so that the signal coming in from the external devices doesn't overpower the factory radio, I found the best thing to do was set the Jensen radio with the volume control to about 16, and you can lock it in on that volume so that way there you're not always frigging around with it. Um, I've also set the bass to minus 6 and the treble to plus 6, so that way there the rich bass tones um, don't overpower the stock Delco radio, which already has pretty decent bass to it anyway. Otherwise, the speakers get a little thumpy. Um, the other thing to note is that if the signal coming out of the Jensen radio into the Ready Rad isn't that loud, um, I first tried it at 10. What I'd find is when the song would quiet down or you'd have a pause on the radio station, 
um, the, the ready red would think there was no signal there and turn off. And then once it got loud again, it would turn back on. So I keep it sufficiently loud on the Jensen to avoid that issue. But other than that, it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, the good thing about the Jensen radio is it's a two-wire power hookup, uh, 12 volts DC and a ground. Um, there's no memory wire needed, so if you have your car in long-term storage, uh, there's not really a worry there about draining the battery if you're one of the folks who leave your battery connected. Um, there's a memory backup in there that's good for about 30 days once the power has been killed. Um, but other than that, everything, uh, the ready rad is going to get put up under the dash with some uh, high-strength Velcro. Um, I'm still going to try and figure out how to get the uh, Jensen radio into the glove box. Uh, it is a little big. I can't, I can't quite mount it, but if you're not concerned with showing an authenticity, then even just stick it under the dash and you'd be all set to go. So there it is, all pretty simple, easy setup. Um, it looks more complicated than it is, and the biggest part is making it look all neat and clean and not interfering with how your 1961 Cadillac is supposed to look. So this is Dan signing out. Um, have a good day.